Poseidon Barge Marine Well Containment System Background Accidents in Marine Oil Wells Iztok in Mexico and Deepwater Horizon in the United States On June 1979, the exploratory oil well Iztok 1 suffered a blowout due to excessive pressure, causing the largest oil spill in history. In the course of 280 days, 3.3 million barrels liters of crude were spilled, resulting in an estimated loss of over $850 million. On April 20, 2010, British Petroleum's Deepwater Horizon oil platform exploded in the Gulf of Mexico. 4.9 million barrels of oil were spilled into the ocean during 60 days. The cost of this accident to the oil company is estimated in $60 billion. Offshore oil wells in the world There are several hundred offshore platforms operating in hydrocarbons extraction in the Gulf of Mexico, Nord Sea, Central and South America, Africa, and Asia coasts. The exploration and exploitation of undersea deposits involves a high risk of pollution. By virtue of the international treaties and agreements signed, every country is obliged to prepare to respond to an emergency of this sort. There are 89 signatory countries of the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution of the Sea by Oil, which reads as follows. It is the essential duty of the states to keep the seas clean. Likewise, the UN Declaration on the Marine Environment establishes in its seventh point that the state shall take all possible steps to prevent the pollution of the seas. Each country must have a contingency plan allocating a high priority to readiness in the face of such an eventuality. Poseidon Barge Marine Well Containment System The Poseidon Barge was designed to contain oil and gas spills caused by blowout or any other cause for an uncontrolled marine well. Before the oil and gas exploration program in the Arctic could be approved, it was necessary to have available an efficient means of responding immediately in case an exploration platform might go out of control. The Poseidon Barge, formerly Arctic Challenger, was built for this purpose. Its design and construction incorporated the lessons learned from the Deepwater Horizon accident. How does the Poseidon Barge operate? Poseidon has a mooring system consisting in eight anchors that allows the barge to position itself close to the uncontrolled well. Using a crane on board the barge, a dome is positioned on top of the uncontrolled well from the oil flows. The dome funnels the oil, gas, and seawater mix through hoses connected from the top of the dome to the processing systems on board the barge. Eight heavy weights, called clump weights, are set around the spill area. In order to be put in place, the dome is lowered from the surface by means of cables and eight hydraulic side winches located at its sides. The dome cables are attached to the clump weights using a remotely operated vehicle, QXP-25 Submarine, which has the ability to manipulate the connection of the cables and weights and send visual information regarding the maneuver and the well actual condition. Poseidon has two processing modules that separate seawater, gas, and oil. The seawater is returned clean to the ocean. The gas and oil are incinerated in a burner located at the bow of the barge or can be transferred to another vessel. Poseidon was designed and built to operate continuously for 24 hours, 7 days a week. The crew has fully equipped living quarters on board. The barge can generate all the electric power, fresh water, and other subsistence requirements. Operation Financing Scheme The cost of maintaining the Poseidon barge on standby can be defrayed by a daily fixed quota paid by each offshore well in operation and by the companies that win a bid to explore potential marine oil and gas fields. The Poseidon barge is the answer for managing a hydrocarbon spill contingency.